King of Miami, only on Mojo. You know, I never would have guessed it would have happened so quickly, but I feel like it's almost like I've lived here my whole life. People are all like, hey Dave, how's it going? And I'm all like, really great, how's it going with you? And then they're all like, really great, but you know that it's always great here in Miami since you've lived here your whole life, right? And then I'm all like, no, but it sure seems like it, doesn't it? Anyway, taking all that stuff into account, I decided to strap on the feed bag at a place called Versailles, the greatest Cuban restaurant named after a place in France in the whole world. Dave, how are you? Hi. Felipe, the owner of Versailles Cuban Cafe. How are you? Good Hi. to see you. I was just looking over the menu. Looking a little bit over the menu. Let me uh, sit down and uh, give you some tips. Because sure. I heard you were trying to maybe become the king of Miami, is that the, that's what it is? Pretty much. What's like the best for like an awesome dude like me? What's the awesome food to eat? We're bringing you a feast for king. Well, let's get it started. We have some mojitos here. Nice. You know, this is the, one of the classic Cuban drinks. It's become one of the top three drinks in the world right now. Anywhere you find them, and I've been anywhere in the world you go, there's mojitos that are They're popular served. for a reason. Speaking of awesome, another thing I'm awesome at is high eye. Nice, eh? Which is like baseball, cricket, racquetball, tennis, jousting, fencing, football, lacrosse, field hockey, and skeet shooting all rolled into one. Phil and I decided to jump right in by heading down to the local fronton, which is just another word for high eye arena, so I don't know why they don't just call it that, but whatever. Hey, can I come in and talk to you guys about high eye? Yeah, yeah. How do I come in? In here? Oh, that's the... Oh, hey. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm Dave. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Rick. Eric. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? Joey. Joey? Hi there. Ricky. Ricky. Goi goi chea. Oge chai? Goi goi chea. Goi goi chea. OK. Who wants to play? Me and Eric okay. against Geico and Joey. Ricky, you got to sit this one out. I have a good feeling I'm going to be awesome at this. Get it, Joe. You got it, Eric. Damn it, Eric. Why do you guys stick me with Eric? I got this one. Oh, there you go. Shoot it. Shoot it. Feeling lightheaded. All right. Threw out my shoulder. That's nice. Like that? Did you ever do that? No. You no. mix it together? No, let, let, let me try it. Let me do try it. it. No, it's good. with a mojito. Takes to the next level. Does it trick, yeah. Good stuff. So what other research are you doing to be the king of Miami? I've been doing all sorts of stuff. High Alai, which I'm awesome at. Really? You're awesome at High Alai? Yeah. Pretty great. OK. We got it. Do you guys wear a cup? No. You should probably should think about it. I got it. Why is High Life called High Life? It's, uh, it means a merry festival. Hmm? That's what it means. Do you ever just call it merry festival? Oh! I'm incredible at High Life. It's a little bit of work. Someday you'll be as good as me. Just hang in there. You got to try this. Same thing? Pork. Here sure. you go. I'm serious. King of Miami action. Really kicking in. Mojito. It's nice, right? Better than the tone. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you have this side weekly specials flap. King of Miami flap. King I ref recommends I having pork chunks and sip a mojito at the same time. Jail would have been awesome if it weren't for all the dudes. This is the classical Cuban flap. Uh, cucharita, you like? What? What is this? This is flan. Are you gonna have some? Yeah. You can. Try it. 
Just it. don't take from the same yeah, side. I get it from this side. I love flying. It's very smooth. The mojito too. You gotta try that. You'd be okay. surprised. Okay. Kyle's mojito. Don't okay. swallow it. Don't swallow it. Oh. You gotta do the set. Definitely better with pork shanks. This is a catalana or a, it's like a kind of a creme brulee. Have you ever thought of combining like you put a flan on top of this? <laughs> King of Miami style. It'd be good, it'd be good. Again, late good. night though, it's gotta be late night. We don't even else. bring out the King of Miami menu till after midnight. Give me something else that like just blow my mind with something, blow your mind. just give it to me. Don't hold back. You can't eat spices. Oh, I love to. I know, but you can't eat spices. No more popcorn, no more nuts. I mean it. What can I have, cheese? Oh, cheese? I don't know. No, not As a cheese. baby, you were cheese. lactose intolerant. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta tell you, you can... You can gotta uh, try this, you gotta try this. Okay. That's actually not very good. No? Don't do that. Okay, good. This, this, uh, candy coating, you could probably put that on pretty much every item on the menu. <laughs> When's the second course coming? You want a Cuban sandwich? A couple of them. You want the uh, special Cuban or the regular Cuban? What's more uh, awesomer? More awesomer is the special because it's more fit for a king, so to speak. Take six of them. Six of them? To go? One, you got enough pockets? Yeah. Or you want a bag? Well, I don't want to ruin the suit. It's a nice, it's a nice suit. It's incredible. Yeah, nice, nice combination. Thanks. Yeah, I put it together myself. Yeah. Remember, when you become the king, if you become the king, I'll say uh, if. Look at me. I mean, you know, it's pretty obvious, but you know, don't forget us little people here in. in no, I'm eating in here every day. All right, Three good. squares a day. Cool. Sounds Probably good. other times besides that. Well, I guess I can file this one under yet another experience that could easily be the most incredible and important experience of my entire life. You're going to make money. Tons of it. You're different than anybody I've ever sat across from. I got to hang out with the world's greatest psychic and ever totally look into the future for me. I single-handedly brought the legend of the Chupacabra back to life, despite the fact that that dude with a mustache kept trying to talk me out of it. I got to smoke some awesome cigars that I didn't even have to pay for. I schooled a bunch of old dudes at Domino's, a game I had never even played before, but surprise, surprise, I'm amazing at. I got to throw down at a delicious Cuban restaurant that's totally named after a place in France. And I took the game of Highlight to a level that even Mickey Dane couldn't have predicted. I am so Miami that I'm not even sure I can handle it. Man, this King of Miami business is awesome. Coming up on my incredible television program. Now, is this an age where you wouldn't recommend having this as a pet? Right. That's dis that's distracting. Sorry. Yeah, you can't be moving around while. I'm standing still. Just want to give you the heads. Just golf etiquette. Gotcha. During our earlier work, it's more expensive, like from yeah. portrait of an artist as a, as a puppy. This is the king of Miami. Marlo Hi. and Dave Perkis. How are you? Oh, of the East Hampton Perkises? No. This is from Paris. Ooh, France. King of Miami, only on Mojo.